little late getting here, but uh, we got three tanks we're replacing today. Dropped off the excavator. We were just a couple miles away with that yesterday. So Ethan's here with the tool truck. Calvin should be here any minute with the sand, and then Chuck's going to be giving us a hand. So this one is three tanks. We're going to. It's a heavy clay. We're going to be hauling the clay up the hill, and then we're going to dump sand somewhere, maybe over here, and uh, backfill all these tanks with the sand. And then the drain fields, a mound way up over there. We're going to go install some uh, observation ports and clean out ports uh, for easy maintenance on it. Because we do have to do a pressure test on this too, so to make sure that the current pump is working. And this is why we're here. So this is the one that fell in. Homeowner already pulled all the bushes out. But uh, yeah, this one fell in. This one doesn't look horrible. So we're gonna replace that one, that one, and then there's supposed to be a pump tank somewhere over here. Oh, there it is, over there. So, currently does not have an alarm, so we're gonna get an alarm added, uh, just in case there ever is an issue. Okay, this one should be interesting. Got all sorts of unknowns. There is a sewer line there, and then there's a sewer line coming from that home that's supposed to come into one of these tanks. Then there's a sewer line there. And then there's supposed to be a water line that somehow goes to that house. So we're just gonna get going and see what we can figure out. Dig slow. Three minutes in. Already found, I think, the main sprinkler line and all the wires for it. So we're gonna keep digging. All right, I would have been money that uh, this pipe did not go to that old cast. But I would have lost. So we found that pipe. Ethan's digging out the cast iron pipe that's coming up from underneath the house. There's an old clean out way over there in the corner. And then uh, new schedule 40 pipe that's coming from the other home is coming in through here and then 45 and in. So we're gonna dig our new tank here and then we're gonna reroute all those to go into the tank. <laughs> so we might almost have all three inlet sides uh, filled. So we'll see, we just uh, hit a couple cable. We got a sprinkler line, we've got sprinkler wire. There's a conduit we didn't know about, two inch conduit, so I'm not sure what that goes to. All sorts of stuff buried in here. Okay, this is an odd looking one, but we have one there, one there, and then one going in there. So that's kind of cool. It's an old drain field. We're having to dig in to put this new tank in, but we covered up part of it. But you can see the 12 inches of stone. You can see the old clay tiles. Uh, there's a couple up here. So original system, zoom out here. Used to be one tank here and then went into the drain field. Drain field looks fantastic now, but it's had many years to dry out, I guess. So we are doing the drain field. So these are the five, actually six laterals. We're going to put some clean outs on it. We're going to do the pressure test on this one here. So we're going to go back, start digging for the second tank, let these guys do their thing. Okay, we just crushed the pump tank. So Calvin's got the two inch line exposed. We cut that, dug that down, cut that, and then crush this. Again, Encon came in handy, fitting around that branch. Got a two inch conduit that actually runs to the power to that house, which we didn't know was there. So again, we were lucky we were able to use our locator and trace that around so we know exactly where that's at because our pump tank's gonna go right where Ethan's standing. We're gonna get our new line run, get this all backfilled, and then we're gonna dig a hole for our new pump tank. And then uh, Chuck's been helping homeowner get the water line run Another water line for the sprinkler, another sprinkler line. We've got the second tank in. And overall, it's going pretty well. Okay, we are back filling. Got the line. Homeowner actually did all the work on the sprinkler system. He's used to doing all that. So he was able to patch all that. We were able to backfill enough to where he could get all the sprinkler lines and stuff run. 
all his electrical done. We put a garden box here for him so he could actually check it if the zones are wrong. We've got our pump tank here. Um, pump failed. So it's just one of those weird random things. You got to do a pressure test. Went to blow out the lines, plugged the new. We were going to use the old pump, which is a massive pump. Um, but when we pulled it out, the rope that usually is attached to the riser, so you can pull it out safely without snapping a wire or a pipe, was actually up inside it and I think burnt the motor out. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. Okay, it's been a busy morning. Ethan and Calvin and Chuck. We got, uh, this was the tank replacement we were on yesterday. And uh, finally got the lines blown out in the drain field. Did the pressure test, it passed. So yesterday we found out when we got, we pulled the old pump out, rope was up inside it, which mean the pump was bad, nobody knew it. There was a diverter paddle. It was a weird thing, but it was ended up leaking out to an old drain field. But we ended up getting a new pump, got that, Len picked that up late last night. Got that here this morning. And we always hardwire everything in. We have an electrician come in do all that for us but uh, this one actually had a plug already for a 220 um, over on the side of the house and now the cord doesn't reach so we spent the morning trying to find some extension cords to get it by until the electrician can get here which we were unsuccessful so we're going to see if he can get over here a little bit earlier